once in a while I find myself led astray From what I was taught The modesty is gone away So everyone welcome back to another video on my channel Hattie Homemaking. So I am really excited for this video. So as you may have known I have been going a lot slower with my YouTube videos recently. I've been a lot less consistent and I've been very insular taking a lot of time to myself which I've really enjoyed but it's given me the time to reflect on my channel and think about how I can capture moments in my life in a way that doesn't impact my life too much if that makes a sense if that makes a sense if that makes sense so I've had to think about it and I've realized the best way for me to film in a way that captures my authentic life rather than feel like I'm maybe putting on a show or like I need a whole day just to film and show my homemaking bits is just to show the bits of each day that fit my channel that so the bits of homemaking I do um, throughout the week and then compile it all into a video at the end of the week. I think this is gonna be really exciting for my channel. I'm hoping to share lots of different aspects of homemaking so I want to show more cooking, baking, gardening, even some DIY projects. I'm still going to do all the clean with me things but I feel like my channel got very heavily focused on cleaning and while I love it I think homemaking is so much more than cleaning and I don't believe you always have to have a clean home in order to be a great homemaker. I actually think it's the opposite sometimes. Learning to let loose, getting creative in the kitchen, having I don't know bits about and <laughs> that's just personally for me that's what makes a really cozy and happy home is loads of food and not necessarily being too stressed about the cleanliness of everything as long as it's hygienic <laughs> so this is going to be my first video of that style please do let me know what you think I'm going to separate it into sections and I'm also going to have chapters so you can click so say if you want to watch the baking but maybe not the cooking you can just flick to the chapters that you're interested in obviously I'd love if you want to watch the whole video too and um, but it just makes it easier for people to navigate who are just interested maybe in certain aspects of homemaking so I'm going to give you a little itinerary for this vlog so I've got first of all we're going to do some cooking so I've got a lentil sweet potato and spinach dal so that's what we're going to do first we're then going to do a little cleaning montage and then we're going to move on to baking these almond slices they turned out absolutely incredible Incredible. It's definitely going to be a new staple baking recipe in this house. And then finally, we're going to finish with, um, so I'm going to do a section on like my hobbies, things that necessarily don't fit into any of the homemaking aspects, but still things that I want to share with you. So any hauls, any chats about TV that I want to discuss. And then occasionally we can do some like advice sections and different things like that. So that's what's going to be in this video. So I really do hope you enjoy it. If you do enjoy this new style of video, then please do give it a thumbs up so I can see that it's got a good reaction and I can see that it's gonna work for you guys as well. And also I do want to um, make a point in each of my videos, I'm gonna start saying something I'm grateful for and I really encourage you to put it in the comments if you want to, but even if you just think it in your head, just something you're grateful for. I think I want these videos to be such a peaceful and happy place. Well, the world seems crazy sometimes with everything that's going on. It's it's seriously overwhelming and I think now more than ever we really have to look after our own well-being and something we can do for that is just trying to stay present in our own lives and having gratitude for the little things. So Here's what I'm grateful for in this video. I'm grateful for this new mug. <laughs> I got this mug as a pre an Easter present and it's just, as you can see, it's 
pretty close to the size of my head so I can fit a lot of tea in it and yeah it's just the little things in life that make me really happy and this is what I'm grateful for. So without talking too much I'm just going to get straight on into the video and I really hope you enjoy it. I need to make sure in these new vlogs that Murphy always gets a look in because you're not under any section are you? You're not cooking, you're not baking, you're not gardening and you're not cleaning. If only could, you could train your pup to actually, actually no, I'm going to take that back straight away before I've even said it. I was going to say at least, I wish you could train your pup to clean or make you a cup of tea. If I take it back, Murphy's a prince. I wouldn't want him to do any of that. You just play with your toys, eat your food, sleep and poop. That's all you need to do. <laughs> Tell the truth real fast And then we're probably done at last Cause I got somewhere to be And you're done deceiving me Into thinking I couldn't do better Yeah, I know I was probably crazy Thinking someday you'd change 
There's nothing left to do now, so I'm playing the game. And so, heartbreaker, I've been working you out. You made loads of mistakes, but none that you talk about. I'm watching every move you make, and I'm on to you. Come on, heartbreaker, give in and surrender to me. Probably let me go, but you've got a porcelain ego. Talking fast and punching low, making sure that there are no traces of thinking I could have done better. Yeah, I know I was probably crazy, thinking someday you'd change. There's nothing left to do now, so I'm playing the game. And so, heartbreaker, I've been working you out. You made loads of mistakes, but none that you talk about. I'm watching every move you make, and I'm on to you. Come on, heartbreaker, give in and surrender to me. Give you get to keep 
so long, farewell, bye-bye Let's have a toast for those lost old eyes And my crooked little heart That seems so rebellious Is falling apart right now I'm bleeding, an easy kill So I've just got in from work and I decided to do some baking to try and de-stress. Um, so I had this little bag of um, short crust, cut, ugh, can't speak, short crust pastry mix. This is what you get when you try and talk after a full day of talking at work. Words just do not come out. <laughs> So yeah, I've had this in my cupboard for a while now. I think I bought it at Christmas time. I think I was gonna do mince pies or something and it just never really came to fruition. So um, it is due to be used up. So I needed to use this. So I had a little look for recipes and I found these like almond slices that are sort of like, um, they remind me of Bakewell slices that you can get from the shop. So I'll show you the screenshot of the recipe I took. So that is what they're supposed to look like. So I'll just hold this here for a second just in case you want to take a little screenshot of it and make it yourself. It looks fairly simple. So I think if you are making the pastry from scratch, it would take a little bit longer. But with this mix, it says I just need to add water and then roll it out. I've never done anything like this before. I know that sounds crazy, but whenever I bake, it's always cakes. <laughs> It's always cakes or like cookies or something. I don't branch out much. I think I kind of, I know, I know where my strengths lie and I've never branched out. So I'm going to tie my hair up and I'm going to make this. Recently, since I've been um, working out the home a little bit more, I've found um, that if I get in and sit down, that's me done for the night. Like I just cannot get back up, not to cook, to clean, not to do anything. But I found if I get in, and <laughs> I could just feel beady eyes on me. It's Murphy staring at me. He wants his dinner. Um, yeah, if I get in and do something straight away, then I feel loads better. So I've been cooking dinner um, pretty much straight away. So tonight I'm changing up the routine a little bit. I'm just going to bake first since I've got in a little bit earlier. And then I'm going to um, cook tonight. I'm going to be doing a beef teriyaki like mince and veg with rice so i'll probably film me doing that as well but that part will be in next week's video for the cooking portion since i've already done um the cooking portion of this vlog i did the lentil sweet potato and spinach doll which i had for lunch today and just a fun fact it gets even better the longer you leave it because the more the spices like marinade selling it's just so nice so i'm just gonna go get a bubble tie my hair up and then begin baking okay so i've got all my ingredients out ready to go so you need um either a short crust <laughs> i'm testing myself having to say that again now um a short crust pastry mix um or you can just make it from scratch um some raspberry jam an egg 
um, some chopped almonds and ground almonds, some ground rice. I've actually not heard of this before. Um, I couldn't find it in my local supermarket, so I just got this from Amazon. I think it was only about three pound. Um, but to be honest, this will last me for ages because I've never seen a recipe with it before. Let me know if you know any other recipes that use this so that it doesn't go to waste. Um, also got some sugar and some butter. So first it's a layer of pastry, then it's a layer of jam, and then it's a mix of all these things over the top and then some almonds to top it off. Then bake it and we'll just see what happens. Fingers crossed this turns out okay. Hey, do you remember 20 something years ago? in December and the sound of the falling snow the fireplace warming us the VHS movie box your old broke down touring bus and not a single cloud in the sky if I could go back in time I'd pack my bags right now
our lighters and throw our problems in the flame. Throw our problems in the flame. We fell down to the bottom, so bottom up, please. We're gonna get over this. Okay, so this is the finished product right before it's about to go in the oven. I am not <laughs> expecting great things. I was really making up as I went along. So I did the pastry at the bottom. I put the jam on. The recipe did not specify how much, but I know I like a lot of jam, so I went to town. <laughs> and then this topping, I had to add a little bit of milk to um, be able to stir it properly. I don't have an electric mixer or anything like that. I just use a wooden spoon and my wrists were about to give out. <laughs> so I added a bit of milk, but now I'm not sure if it's supposed to be that consistency or if it's gonna, it should have been a little bit drier. And then I've topped it with the ground almonds. So I'm gonna bake this now. I'm gonna go for around 190 degrees C and I will probably get it out in about 20 minutes and see. And yeah, let's just see how it's gonna turn out. Fingers crossed it's okay. Surely it can't be terrible. I don't think it's going to look amazing. I think I'm gonna have trouble slicing it, but we will see. I feel like I can't judge it yet because I don't have any experience of making anything like that. So anyway, I'm gonna put these in the oven now and let's see. Oh, by the way, just in case anyone was wondering, instead of doing two ounces of everything for the topping, I did six ounces just because obviously I had a lot of pastry to fill. Okie dokie, time to bake. <laughs> One step away from salvation. You're like the ocean setting me free. Out in the open, I'm picking up speed. No bad thoughts penetrate Hold me like this is the first time Our destiny calls Not leaving this incomplete Won't you lay it on me Turn the page and... Okay, so this is how it's turned out. I have burnt it slightly. I'm so annoyed with myself. I got distracted for a minute taking a selfie because I wanted to show Instagram that I've learned how to do a claw clip. So that's what you get when you get distracted. But on good, on the good news, on the, <laughs> moving on to the good news, um, I try to like flick a bit of the burnt bit off like that. And if you look, it looks so soft and like the consistency looks amazing and it smells really nice as well. So I'm gonna leave this to cool for a good couple of hours now. Once it's completely cool, I'm gonna attempt to cut it into some um, fingers and we're just gonna see how it turns out. Fingers crossed for me, it turns out as nice as it smells. Throw our problems in the flame. Get a little bit breathless My thoughts are too big Can I get some comfort, please? Okay, so for the hobbies section of this video, I wanted to share with you a couple of new bits and bobs I have picked up for spring. So a couple of makeup bits, and I've also picked up some really gorgeous, I'm so excited about them, spring dresses as well. So I wanted to share them with you as well while they're still available in the shops. So first of all, I just wanna get started with a bit of makeup. I've been experimenting a little bit with makeup recently you might have noticed I go through phases I love doing my makeup I had this conversation at work the other day um where I was saying how much I just love doing my makeup in the morning and no one could understand it everyone just thought I was a bit nuts <laughs> but I think it's because like behind you so I'm on my makeup table now and behind where the camera is my mirror has like white lights all around it so it almost acts as a bit of light therapy for me as well it it's really bright, it wakes me up in the morning and it just puts me in a good mood. So anyway, 
<laughs> back on to the topic so I just wanted to share with you a couple of new makeup bits I picked up recently so first of all this Charlotte Tilbury um let me zoom in yeah this Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless foundation I got mine in the shade 5 neutral um I like to buy a foundation that is a little bit darker for my skin tone because then I always light it up with concealer under my eyes and things like that and also I do tend to fake tan every now and again when I'm feeling a little bit not low but when I'm just feeling a little bit mm, not the best body confidence fake tan for me is just a go-to and I always feel great so this works for me when I'm fake tanned because I can just bronze it up or when I've got no tan on I can just use a bit of lighter concealer and powder and this was actually the foundation the makeup artist used on my wedding day and it stayed on all day and this might not be the most attractive thing but I sweated a lot <laughs> <laughs> on my wedding day it was actually a really hot and humid day and I was dancing all night jumping like full limbs everywhere <laughs> so yeah and it, it held up so that's how you know it's a good foundation so I have been using this daily as well I've been wearing it daily but to make it a bit more um wearable for the everyday I just put loads of moisturizer on first and just put like the tiniest little square on and then just give it sort of a very light um covering and then if I want to go on a night out <laughs> why was I about to say night out I don't think I've been on a night out since my hand do <laughs> and then before that I don't think I've been on a night out for years it's not my scene so I don't know why I was going to say that maybe um, a posh dinner, if I was going for a posh dinner. Anyway, next is this MAC um, Gold Deposit and Mineralize Skin Finish. <laughs> so I have had this, let me open it and just show you the shimmer. It is so nice. I've had this in my makeup collection for absolutely ages. And then I've just never really gone to it. I've never really known how to use it, but recently I've been using it as a bronzer and it just gives the nicest skin finish ever I'm not always a fan of like a very strong highlighter I feel like it just looks obvious especially the powder ones it just I, I just don't like the way it looks and then if you've got any skin texture it really highlights it and it just looks a bit too like makeupy for me like those really you know like there was a stage on YouTube where people did like a very bright highlighter and I followed that trend and whenever I look back on pictures or say it just yeah it's just like a stripe of really light and I don't like it anyway so this is much better because it is just smoothing I can put it up on my forehead and it just ties everything together so I've been loving that next a new mascara absolutely love this so this is the Maybelline um sky high mascara and it is incredible I feel like it really like genuinely really does lengthen separate everything you want a mascara to be and I really like the brush let me show at you at first I wasn't sure because I like a very thick brush so I got it I actually had a look at all the testers and mascaras you know where they have the brushes lined up and I thought I picked a different one so when I got this home I was really disappointed but there was something about this brush that just works really really well so yeah I highly recommend trying this if you are looking for a new mascara next oops next I have um a new white um shimmery eyeshadow so this is Maybelline color sensational in what shade is it in oh I don't think it says oh good grief I literally bought it the other day it'll be on my Amazon account let me just have a look at my Amazon and I can find out ah here we go <laughs> not that much of a crazy name I can't believe I didn't remember what it was called vanilla <laughs> just vanilla so I never used to put white shimmery eyeshadow on I've just never really thought about it I've always just used my bronzer um but I've seen um Jasmine Chiswell I think she is the she's like does like Marilyn Monroe type things but then she's recently had a baby and yeah so she's a content creator basically and I watched a video of hers um about her new baby and 
she was wearing a really nice white eyeshadow um, at the start of it and I thought oh I need to try that so I ordered this and I absolutely love it I feel like it really highlights blue eyes and it makes my eyes pop and last night I woke up in the middle of the night and I couldn't get back to sleep for two hours so my eyes were just not looking the best this morning but I feel like a combination of this eyeshadow and then the mascara has really really helped me out next I wanted to share these lip oils so these are the Revlon lip oils by Nikki Lily I'm not sure who that is um but I got three in the pack so I got this like sort of shimmery um pink one and then I got this clear one and then I got another one that was like pink but with no shimmers in every single time I wear these someone comments like without fail every single time I've worn this lip oil someone's asked me what's on your lips so yeah I just wanted to mention that it's nice it's sort of like a lip gloss but it's just not as sticky it gives the look of a lip gloss it's really hydrating but it doesn't let like hair and things stick to it next I just wanted to talk about these sunglasses <laughs> I just needed to mention these because these were from Primark. I think they were £1.50 and I just really like them. Oh, I can't get them over my hairband. There we go. <laughs> I feel like they don't look as good because you can see the reflection of my lights in them. Um, but I just don't understand why people spend so much money on designer sunglasses when you can so easily lose them. They break. Oh, my hair's looking a mess now. Um, they break and if you can get ones that nice with such a nice shape from Primark then why not so now I'm going to move on to showing you my three new spring dresses I'm not going to hold them up and show you I'm going to actually try them on and show you in the mirror just because it is a lot lot easier to show you how things fit and I want to give you the full vibe of the dresses okay so this is the first dress so it is a wrap dress and it's got little lemons on it I absolutely love it it's got slightly puffed sleeves it ties in the middle and it's nice and long so it's that sort of midi length which is probably my favourite length I don't like a maxi and any shorter and I'm just constantly pulling it down and making sure the wind isn't blowing up it whenever I'm out so this is my favourite um, style dress this was £18 from Primark and I got it the other week so it should still be available I also got this in a top as well so the lemon pattern is a little bit smaller in the top and it's very similar design actually it's a wrap and it finishes about here so I got the top as well just because I love the little lemons I just think they're so cute and this is a perfect spring dress for when the weather is nice I'm thinking for Easter weekend or I'm not sure just anything really garden party not that I've got any planned <laughs> but just I love it so much I just feel so like floaty and feminine in it so so this is the next dress and it's actually very very similar to the lemon dress so it's from Primark as well it was £18 it's a very similar fabric as well so both dresses they're sort of like linen um which is nice because it keeps you a little bit warmer um than just a really thin fabric and they feel more sturdy and just really good quality actually so again it's got like the puff sleeves it's in this really lovely blue colour and I find this colour is probably one of my favourites to wear. It's just really flattering and yeah, I just really like, I like blue colour, especially in spring, summer, because it just feels light and bright. And I'm just trying to stay away from like blacks and I feel like when you're out, it's just like a sea of like, black or navy coats and I'm the worst for it I'm also guilty of throwing a black coat over like a really nice outfit because they're just so easy to wear but yeah I want to make more of an effort to just seem a bit brighter um in the spring summer months so yes this is the second spring dress I picked up okay and now and last but definitely not least is this gorgeous dress this was from Dorothy Perkins Oh, it's all twisted at the front. I should have sorted that before I started filming. <laughs> so it's just this, um, it's, oh, I don't even know how to describe it actually. Again, it's a midi dress. Um, it's got a nice V. I personally prefer wearing a cami underneath just for a little bit more coverage. Again, it's got like nice floaty sleeves. I've noticed on my figure, I really do like either a tiny bit of a puff sleeve or just a bit of float. I feel like it just 
highlight a bit more of the hourglass figure and yeah I don't I don't like it when something's too tight I've noticed anywhere on my body I just don't like things feeling super super tight the only part I do like to have the fabric quite fitted is my stomach like this top bit so when you get lower down your stomach for any woman we have a bit of a pouch it's completely normal but society makes us feel insecure about it but it's our organs so <laughs> if you can help it try not to be insecure about it I have gained a little bit of weight since the wedding and because of that I've tried to follow a couple of people on social media who represent my figure now rather than just people who are a lot smaller than me or just look different to me and it just helps I think seeing different body types just really helps me personally with my body confidence where was I going with that oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> just completely went on a spiel about body confidence but anyway um so I like it to be tight at the top here this is personally my smallest part on my waist so up at the top here if so this has a tie at the back so I can pull it in here and make it a little bit tighter and then it goes looser over the part I'm insecure about so I really like that I think sometimes when either you've gained a bit of weight or you're just not the most um body confident or if you are just like a modest person and don't want to show too much of your body just working out some shapes that you feel good in some basic shapes and then just buying that shape in a lot of different ways so like the wrap dresses I have so many wrap dresses in my wardrobe it's actually silly but it, they work for me and they work for my body so yes anyway this was from Dorothy Perkins I think it was about 35 pounds maybe and I just love the style of this I think it's so cute okay so that is the end of my haul in this video so I hope you enjoyed seeing a couple of the new things I've picked up I will continue to show you any little bits I find along the way that I enjoy wearing or makeup or anything like that I will keep these little sections in the videos whenever I have something to share Okay, so that brings us to the end of this homemaking video. I really hope you have enjoyed it. I hope you've enjoyed all the different aspects. Please let me know if you did enjoy it down in the comments. I'm so interested to see how this video is received. I'm really excited about it myself. I feel like it's gonna help me upload more because I was in a bit, not a rut, like I love all my videos I've already done and I don't regret any of them and I've captured so many lovely memories but I think this is just a way that's going to work for my lifestyle right now and I can see working longer term as well through different phases of my life where I just don't have days and hours of any day to give to just filming because I don't think I'm ever going to be a YouTuber. My focus will always be elsewhere. I want YouTube just to capture a natural life rather than me changing my life for YouTube if that makes sense. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please do subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next one.